to one and all my name is Spady welcome into another Spady tutorial in this tutorial here we're going to be installing the ALPR light 1.5.4.2 by the Bajellos so let's go ahead and come down here to the only link down below and go ahead and open that up and it's going to be the ALPR light um, 1.5.4.2 and it was updated on January the 27th. I'm assuming that was uh, 2019 or 2020 maybe. Not 100% sure on that. But um, go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Which um, I recommend. I hope y'all got an ad blocker for this as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and click this um, arrow button as fast as you can. And if you and if you get a pop up there, just make sure you guys know what you're doing. Just go ahead and close that out, and then come back down here again, and just keep on clicking it. And if you keep on getting pops up, pop popped up, and stuff like that, just keep on um, closing that out, coming back here, and then click on it. Keep on clicking on it until it starts downloading, just like that right there. And whatever internet browser you got. Um, just go ahead and drag that out to your desktop and then close out of your internet um, browser. All right, now what we need is our main guide directory. Come down here to your um, um, file explorer and figure out it on a pin, pin to quick access. Right click and go to Grand Theft Auto 5, pin to quick access, and your um, GTA 5 main directory should be right here. But if you guys want to do it the hard way, come down here and click on your file explorer and then go to your grand and, and then whatever drive you got it in, go to um well mine's in C. Go to programs, files times eighty six, and then go to Steam, then go to Steam Apps, and then go to Common, and then Grand Theft Auto Five, and there is your main directory. All right, now let's go ahead and open up your ALPR um, lot uh, rim wire. And remember, I always open up your rim wire and close out that purchase box. And I'm going to split this up into two pages. All right, now you're going to um, go ahead and click on that folder, ALPR lot. And all you need is the plugins folder right here. All right. And the last, and the last time this was modified was eleven twenty six of two thousand twenty. So that was the last time he, um, the Bajello actually done anything with this plugin. But, um, but it still works for the current GTA Five version three point three zero two eight. Grab this plugin, plugin file only. Bring it down here to your main directory. And drop it in like a fishing line, like you are fishing, and make sure you're not highlight on the folder because if you do, you're gonna mess up. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and close out of your um, rim wire, and then go ahead and we're gonna nav nav um, navigate to our INI files. All right, so go ahead and go to plugins, go to capital letters LSPDFR. And then go down here to ALPR Lot Configuration Settings, aka uh, INI File. All right. And why I'm at it. All right. Why I'm at it. Seems like you guys do not want this at all. All you gotta do is click on the ALPR Lot DLL and the ALPR Lot Configuration Settings. Um, left control and left click. And if you go to right click, and if you guys want to add your game, just delete, just delete that out, just delete that out, and then we completely add your game. All right. So, with that being said, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this, um, I'm gonna make this big, when y'all can see it. Now, toggle T to Cargo on and off ALPR light, and it's the, the default is F8. I'm going to leave it as F8 because I ain't got nothing on my F8 button. All right. So, and right here where it says ALPR hit categories, 
Um, the total value should be 100. All right. So anything over 100 here, you have to do a little bit, a little bit dab, of, dab of math. So what I'm going to do is I like this um, owner wanted probability. I'm going to I'm going to change that over to a 25, and then down here on the owner license issued, and I'm going to change this over to a 10. All right. And that still give, gives you the total va value of a hundred, which is which that means it's it's percentage wise on your ALPR cameras to um, to catch um, a registration issue or an insurance issue and a and a owner wanted, which is warrants. And I say most of y'all know this by now. Make this one big. As you can tell on some of your vehicles, it's got cameras out there on, on the on your vehicles, like this one here. Some of them can be on top, some of them could be on the trunk, like this one right here. And that's what they these are. They can they read your license plate only um until to see if it's been stolen or if it's been um or the insur insurance is ran out, or your place is, or your ta or your task is expired, you know stuff like that. That's what these cameras are right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, and then, and then down here where it says owner, let's see, hang on, which one is it? And and why I was talking about the cameras uh, to set able or disable interventional cameras, ALPR cameras. Um, you got your front left, uh, front right, rear left, and rear rear right. I would recommend to leave this as yes, but if you guys want to, if you guys want to just have uh, say like you don't want the the rear rear camera, rear right camera, just change that over to a no, and that camera would not read. But I would, but I would recommend to leave this as yes. All right, and 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 if you made any changes on here at all, all right. Um, oh, one other thing, right here where it says ALPR hit prop uh, prob probability in percentage. Now, right now the default is um, at twenty percent. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this twenty over to over to a forty. All right, and you guys change whatever you want on here. So, and a modifier key, I would not even recommend a modifier key at all. But if you may need changes on here, go to file, go to save, and then simply just close out. All right, now go ahead and refresh your um, main directory and go ahead and close out. All right, you don't even need to restart your computer for this unless you guys want to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna inspire the game up, and it's 12:51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a Wednesday, November 22nd. So happy Thanksgiving um, to the people that's coming. Um, just get ready to have Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, and we will see you inside the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the in-game showcase of the, of the ALPR lot by the uh, by the Jellos. So let's go ahead and many changes to your I, &I file. Remember, I just left mine as default on F8 to activate. So if you hit F8, look down here where it says ALPR lot is activated. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait on we're just gonna wait on somebody to come along and then it should start raiding here just about any time. So um I thank you all for uh, looking at this video, viewing this video. Um let me know how I am doing in the comments section and if you ain't subscribed 
Um, there's one with a uh, suspended license. Let's go get them real quick. And it's going to be in a Calicade 2 black color. This is it right here. Let's do it. Let's do a traffic stop. Let me. Let's go ahead and do a traffic stop. And what way is she pulling up? All right, so she's gonna pull off right up here, and let's see if everything matches. Let's see if everything matches on what this ALPR uh, lot has just picked up on. Two twenty-two dispatch. Show me on a ten eleven postal three zero five zero. Stand by for a Tennessee twenty-eight. 4 X-ray 2 22 proceed with caution I need a play check on a 4-4 four four Adam Nancy boy 017 I need a play check 4-4 four four Adam Nancy boy 017 License plate 44 four, Adam Nora Boy 017, a traffic felony. Alright, so it did come back as a suspended license, but also he's also got an outstanding warrant, too. So, now let's check the uh, copy line here, and just to double check the copy line here. And he does got a suspended license and an outstanding warrant for forgery. So, so everything seems like um, everything seems like it's uh, working so far on this, but um, I'm I'm not going to keep y'all um, in suspense. So so let's go ahead and do another one. This is your lucky day. I'm I remember that tag. Get out of here. All right. So as you can tell, as I canceled that traffic stop. It brought up another, uh, brought up another uh, re uh, plate with no registration. It's going to be a a rumby. So let me just get up to it here real quick. And this is it right here. Let's get him pulled off. He didn't feel fine. <laughs> All right, so this one is ain't got no registration, but I am gonna pull him up just a little bit more here, get him off the road, and that is um, a custom pullover. Right, you know what? Forget it. S-ray 222 dispatch, show me on a 1011. Um, stand by for 28. 10-4, copy. X-ray 2-22, proceed with caution. I need a play check on a 2-4 Robert Boy Frank 066. <coughs> Target vehicle license plate 2-4 Robert Boy Frank 066, a traffic felony. Alright, so everything on the ALPR lot is actually working and it's matching up. Now let's go over here to um, back over here to coffee lot mm -hmm. and and see what it says and you gotta go to vehicle records on this one right there and nothing, nothing on it. So there's nothing there's nothing on it which is you know it does matches where it says um registration status and it does match with the ALPR lot and I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel this one and there's one right there with stolen vid so so and, and, and I like this because it does bring them up one by it does bring them up one by one and I won't have to go back old school there for a while So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for me for today. I appreciate you all. Uh, 
um, coming in, looking at this uh, video. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And and don't eat too much because I'm already too late on that. So I will see you all on the next one. And we are going, going, go. Peace out.